Hello guys, it is time to finally talk about some music on this channel, as I promised, and we are going to talk about music again with an album review of a little album released back in 2014 as the debut album of this talented actress and singer who is from Tennessee, of course, Memphis, Tennessee. And that is, of course, Road Between, which is was the country debut album of Lucy Hale. Now, if you don't know who Lucy Hale is, she is an actress and singer, again, from Memphis, Tennessee. She starred on the ABC Family Freeform hit TV series, Pretty Little Liars, which ran for a total of seven seasons. In that show, she played Aria Montgomery. Now, she's also been in stuff like the recent Netflix movie that came came out called Dude, and then Blumhouse's True for Dare, which is guilty pleasure but flawed, and then the short-lived TV series on the CW this year, Life Sentence. And she also did the voice of Pearl Winkle in the fourth film in the Tigra Bell series, and my personal favorite one, right next to The Lost Treasure, and the first film, Tinker Bell for The Secret of the Wings. And I do have a picture right here. So, in case none of y'all know who I'm talking about, but yeah, she created a debut album for her fans back in 2014, and I've finally have listened to it I've listened to it twice now and I'm going to say this um this album was great now usually everyone will talk people will talk about the album track album when you're talking about a musician track to track but me Here's how I'm going to do this. I am going to to talk to talk about the album in my own sort of way. So it might be a little long, but for the first album review, I want to make sure I do I do a good job. Now, the there are a total of exactly and yep, like I said, exactly. There is a total of, of course, definitely 16 songs. And the, each, I'm going to list off each song. Number one is the song You Sound Good to Me. From the Back Seat is the second song. Nervous Girls is the third song. Number four is Red Dress. Number five is Goodbye Gone. Number six is Kiss Me. Number seven is the main album title song, Road Between. Number eight, Lie a Little Better. Number nine, That's What I Call Crazy. Number ten, Love Tonight. Eleven, Just Another Song. Number twelve, My Little Black Wedding Dress. Number thirteen, It Feels Like Home. 14 is loved. Five, and number 15 and number 16 are live acoustics of Kiss Me and Road Between. Now, let me just say, I knew that they were going. She was going to come out because I did see a commercial for on ABC back when it was ABC Family, and I think is when I was watching. Then they were having the Harry Potter marathons, but. And then I became interested in it. Now, at the time I knew who Lucy Hill was, but I was not into Pretty Little Liars. And I know I've heard a lot of positive things about it, and I haven't gotten a recommendation to do it, to talk about the TV series. So, I will start talking about the series once I start watching 
I'm not sure if I'm going to review each season separately or just review the series all together because this is a lot of episodes and it's seven seasons. So let's get into the album. Now, every single song here I really do like. I love all of the songs. Each song is written very differently and each song has its own merits, its own individuality to it. And that's what I really like about this album. Every single song here has its own merits. They all stand out of their own. And the vocals from Lucy Hill in this entire album is... At first, it was shock. It was shocked me because I didn't even know Lucy Hill could sing but then I looked it up and then she, uh, her, singing was her first passion because she was on a show called American Juniors and then she sung on there as a young kid I, I looked all this up and then she turned to acting but she the reason why she wanted to make this album is because she wanted to Talk about all the insecurities that she go through, all the bad relationships that she wanted to go, that she, the relationships that didn't work out, and she also wanted to, wanted to, I guess she wanted to t want to sh to show her fans the taste of her country roots. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird for me to say it, but. Hey, you hey, you got you gotta know. You gotta realize, hey, we all have a little bit of country roots in there. And me, I I listen to country music. It just has to be 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 good be decent enough. And knowing me, I listen to a bunch of different country music. I, I like Carrie Un Underwood. I like the one Kenny Chesney song American Kids. I like the song I Hope You Dance and Taylor Swift is a con country well, is a country pop artist and I, now this of course I really enjoy this entire album I'm every single song I'm sitting there listening to the lyrics and easily it just makes you want to start singing <laughs> Yeah, I know it's kind of weird, but it's true. It makes you want to start singing, and it's it's very fun. It's very fun. Fun is very that, and usually, it always happens to me. Well, with a lot of other mu music, and plus, I love hip hop music. I love rock music. You know, yeah, 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 and um, this was no exception. I. This was country music, but let me just say the 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 songs that I really do love here, and I she did do music videos for "Lie a Little Better," "You Sound Good to Me," and I think another song. And so, seeing those music videos and seeing her sing these 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 songs I'm like she's this is a talented beautiful young woman and she and she does a good job here she does a great job now a couple of my favorite songs here is of course I love the main song Road Between it's great Love that song. Love the song. I like what is the message that it sends. I like the the things that the song touches upon here. Trying to pick up your pieces, trying to start over in a new relationship. I get that. I get that. And that that song easily is the standout of this entire album. Now, of course, the second song that I think really stands out is Ner the Ner Nervous Girls. Now, 
I know for Lucy Hill, this was a very, a very personal song because it does talk about insecurities and of girls and what they're doing going through home like like people talking about you and um breakups and also insecurities about your about your about your weight because at the time and for all you guys who don't know she Lucy Hill she did say in the interviews that she that she wouldn't eat anything because because a lot of people because a lot of people were making fun of it. So it's kind of like an eating disorder. I don't know. But whatever that case is. She 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 did say she when she found out. She knew she had to change. And I and I do. Ha and I did read up about the song in the article. Uh, hang on. I do have it in one of these magazines. Okay, but anyway, you get what I'm trying to make of the point I'm trying to make at, of what Lucy Hill is talking about in this, um, in this, in the song. And also, in this entire album, she said in a magazine, one of these magazines, which I found one, one, she did say... In this album, you get to know the real. She said, and I quote, people are getting to know the real me and not my TV character. And it's a taste of of getting to know know the, the, know the talent, the actual real Lucy Hale. Not judging her. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I would ne never judge. But I'm just gonna say that that song is very is a is, is a very sweet song is, and as for the other songs, my third favorite song, of course, has to be my little black wedding dress, wedding dress, and also lie a little better would be the fourth favorite. Those two songs I really do like as well so all the songs I really like I really like the songs I like the style that Lucy Hill goes for in each of these songs I don't have a least favorite song but like I said I'm trying something different Frank with the my with this album or music review than what other usual people who just talk about the album from track to track. I'm not talking about them from track to track. I'm just going through the album as much as what I would do when I'm reviewing a movie or a TV show. I'm just talk. I'm just basically doing doing what I do. But all the other songs, Goodbye Gone was is a really good song. I really like, that's what I call crazy. Just another song, Feels Like Home is, is, a one, is a really one I really enjoy. Loved, I really do like. And also, I really just, every song here has its purpose, has its merits has its own individuality, has its own flavor, and has their own situation that Lucy Hale explains in each of these songs as she is singing. And basically because of me I have photographic memory, so I can basically picture and visualize everything that she's talk that she's talking about in the song. So it's kinda like ESPN or M T V or VH one or B E T or something. Or Teen Nick. You know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> like I said, in these, in these review, in these videos for these last two months of 2018, I am putting more personality into this. And 
not only I'm going, I'm putting more personality into these videos, but I'm also just light lightening it up a little bit. Take take away some of the seriousness that I usually have in most of my videos because in most of my videos, like I say, I am I do feel like I am a little bit too serious in most of them. A little bit too se serious. But overall, I really love the songs. The song, each song, just they bring out basically what anyone can go through, especially girls. But overall, this song, this entire album, I really like "Road Between" from Lucy Hale. This entire music album, so. I really love this entire album. I love the songs. I love the way each song is written. I love the vocalization that Lucy Hill puts into each of these songs. And it's just a very entertaining, very uh, as amazing album. So, if I was to to do to give this album from Lucy Hill a rating I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 for me Yay! a 10 out of 10 really enjoy the aspect really enjoy the intensity of it all now you can see I'm using 9 out of 10 1 out of 10s and these music reviews and not my usual rating system that's because I'm that's because I want I want to try something different here so that I hope you enjoyed my first album review for Lucy Hill's Road Between like I said I'm I I'm trying something different instead of going from track to track just try out a different try a different approach with these album reviews so let me know what you guys think of the lucy hill road between album down below have you listened to it have you not what is your favorite and least favorite song from this album are you a fan of lucy hill how long you've been a fan of lucy hill me i've been a fan of lucy hill since secret of the wings because again, I wasn't in. I'm not. wasn't really wasn't into Pretty Little Liars at the time. But now, before the spinoff, Pretty Little Liars: The Perfectionist, I am going to review all seven seasons. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do them separately or just do a complete series review. We'll have to. We'll have to wait to find that out. But this, you guys can tell me in the comments how how you want 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 to see. The Pretty Little Liars TV series reviewed. And we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's continue the road to 1K subscribers. And you guys keep it cool. I'm Joshua, aka Future Filmmaker 3940. Y'all have a good evening.